Good day people, welcome to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I am your host Shaheen. I just uh, uploaded a video on YouTube and I think uh, some quality issues are there so I'm repeating that same content for uh, evening of February 9 or early morning of uh, February 10th. So if you have seen that it's exactly the same content only issue is that I'm trying to fix a couple of issues with that so both videos would stay uh, on the on YouTube as well. In today's video we are going to look at gold and silver. I have uh, found a couple of interesting things on uh, um, traditional technical analysis as far as gold is concerned. We are going to look at Elliott wave analysis as, of course as well but uh, we'll look at uh, more traditional analysis as well. Let me add a couple of uh, uh, indicators here as well. I'm adding moving average here uh, right over here. So first of all we have 50 moving average with green color so we can uh, draw that and I'm looking to find uh, show you guys the death cross that is actually about to happen in gold market uh, which is indication of a long term trend uh, actually developing that is short term trend changing into long term trend. So we have already some sort of uh, corrective looking pattern that's what most people are saying it. It looks like that corrective looking pattern is about to change into longer pattern so that's what it is for so we are going to look uh, at it using our traditional analysis and which is uh, the 50 moving 50 day moving average and 200 day moving average and we can see that they're meeting right now if you look at our previous trend we can see that the previous uh, bullish trend has been pretty uh, captured really good uh, with the 200 day moving average especially. So every time prices crossed we can see that there was some sort of support for the bullish trend. Prices went up and then they are again found support just above the 200 day moving average and same right over here, same right over here. Uh, apart from recent data we can see that we haven't seen any uh, serious issue with the trend you know, bouncing off back the 200 day moving average. Right now the interesting thing is that not only prices uh, fell below the 200 day moving average they are also kind of finding support uh, right below the 200 day moving average. So this is probably an indication that we have completed the correction that we forecasted in our last wave, uh, last video. In our last video I indicated that we are probably looking into a running flat or expanded flat this considering wave A, this is wave B and this is wave C. So it looks like that we might have completed that price movement, that price structure. On a 15 minute chart if you are interested in looking at the wave C, it looks like that we have com completed wave 1, wave 2, wave 3, wave 4, wave 5. Since it's a very small time frame analysis so it's very really hard to say with a high probability. But if you also look at the support line that actually trend line that's connecting the the price movement started from right this bottom to top. We can see that breach of it, the prices although have gone up a bloody, but they already did one breach of the support line. So could that be the end of the correction right over here? That's a very interesting point. If it is the end of the correction, next few days are going to be very interesting for gold bears. It looks like that gold is actually going to develop the long term trend that we were expecting from gold bears uh, for a while now. So. Uh, one interesting thing I want to show you is that I'm myself actually concerned as well as the fundamental reason is concerned for gold because US is printing actually a lot of money, a lot of US dollar and that should theoretically get converted into bullish gold. But we have not seen that. So I want to indicate that could the gold uh, be already in overbought condition? If it already been overbought condition then probably long term investors are not uh, interested in um, being more bullish into already overbought conditions. So let's have a look at RSI. If I can find it, oscillators, here it is. So this is monthly chart so that I can compare different data. If you look at this uh, peak, we can see that it is really been in was in overbought condition right over here and probably that could be the reason that long term investors are not interested in uh, bullish more bullish gold because they can see that they have, have been in uh, overbought condition right at the top. If you look at that, we have not seen this kind of extreme overbought conditions in gold for last 10-11 years. 
so could that be a reason if that is the reason then it looks like the Elliott wave analysis is telling us that the long-term investor is not interested in pushing gold even more higher prices so that's what you are saying that it looks like that we are going to complete a flat correction which is wave A wave B and then wave C our uh, regular technical more tech traditional technical analysis is also indicating that we could be at a very important uh, price level and the this death cross is also about to occur if you look at the once again the pattern we have completed almost complete or very close to the completion of the pattern this is wave a wave b and then wave c this is gold let's have a look at silver silver is also presenting a very interesting uh, structure in our previous analysis I did mention that we are expecting uh, the price of uh, silver to go up right, which was somewhere in this region and it has gone up much not much deeper as you were expecting but it has given us uh, if you are a bear it's uh, given us very good in, uh, uh, opportunity to uh, to join the short trend so I'm bearish on silver I'm bearish on gold if you are interested in and uh, the target of silver and expecting that silver is about to come probably in this region or in this region is going to be really interesting price action for silver and for gold let's see what happened this week for gold and silver is really important especially for bearish trend thank you see you guys soon have a good one and bye bye